Good morning, everyone. I'm Fox 47 News Chief Meteorologist Brad Sugnan. Things will start to quiet down for a while now. Good news for, of course, getting the power back on for folks, hopefully keeping with some of those estimates, but hey, I don't know. We'll see what happens, right? It's going to be a little bit chilly as we go throughout the afternoon. The next system coming our way, though, looks like it'll be much warmer, so we're not concerned about freezing rain at this time, but there was a lot of it out there. Now, I'm not like, you know, to toot my own horn too much, but it always is really nice when the forecast verifies, and this time it did. We didn't scare anybody. They went right into the exact amounts that we forecast, up to three quarters of an inch, and that's what we got for a couple of cities. Jackson, Battle Creek, over half of an inch, and even around parts of Lansing, Waverly, the east side over by Okemos, about half of an inch as well. I know we have a lengthy power outage over by Hazlitt, you know, in addition to lengthy power outages everywhere. Even over by Marshall, picked up about six tenths of an inch, if not a little bit more as well. Pittsford down in Hillsdale County, about half of an inch. Now, Hillsdale itself, keep in mind, I think that weather sensor actually went bad as the storm came through so likely a little bit more than that we saw some incredible images from our Lauren Shields uh, over last night into this morning as well. So overall, temperatures will start to warm it up only into the 20s though. This is indicating a really quick cool down around sunset before we warm it right back up as the south wind kicks in. So that might be kind of a weird dip tonight. I'll be very curious to see if that actually comes true. But hey, it makes sense to me if the model is actually picking up on that. Now into Saturday, we're going to start to warm things up even more, a little bit above freezing for many of us. And then into Sunday, we'll warm it up a little bit more after that too. So overall, some clouds will be out there, maybe a flurry as we go throughout our Friday afternoon. Notice though later Friday we're going to be watching for a clipper to come through which will bring a few scattered snow showers. Less than an inch out there but might be just enough to coat the roads by Saturday morning. Saturday afternoon maybe some sunshine as the sun gets a little bit lower in the sky and then things will improve again even more by the time we head into Sunday. But the good news is even though Friday is our cold day we're not looking for a lot of wind so the wind chill won't be that bad. You saw that little round of calm winds there indicating that little bit of a cool down before we warm it up. Up. So Saturday morning as winds are out of the south generally, that's why we warm it up compared to those cold numbers. Winds will increase a little bit throughout the day Saturday, not bad, but a good direction to help warm us up. So high pressure starts to make its way on by. It is a very weak high pressure though, so it's not going to give us that much sunshine. And then we'll start to gear things up for our next system that will start approaching us later in the day Monday. So overall for the day today, chilly 26 degrees out there. It's not going to be that warm unfortunately tonight. A little bit warmer than what we're dealing with right now, but still 17 degrees. Believe it or not, pretty close to average still for this time of the year. Like I said, the weekend about average, average highs, middle, upper 30s. So that's right where we're at. Monday, we're looking at a warmer system. So we're looking at 45, couple scattered rain showers. Quick shot of snow on the backside of that. We'll dip down our overnight lows into the 20s just briefly.